As we continue our special week of market monitors, our next guest has stock picks that he says could do well under the Trump administration. He is Ross Gerber, president and CEO of Gerber Kawasaki. Nice to see you again, Ross. Thanks. Great to be back. Now, I mean, since the election, the financials, the banks have rallied on the expectation that we're going to see a pullback to some degree on Dodd-Frank and rise in interest rates. You like the banks in part because of that, but you're not picking a lot of the money centers. You like First Republic, for example. Why that mm -hmm. one? Well, that one in particular is a particularly well-run bank. It's in a great part of the nation. It's in Silicon Valley area. They have almost zero loan losses. Um, really well run and, and actually a decent wealth management division as well. But but it's all about personalized service and providing multiple services to your customers. And, and that's what First Republic does very well. But the bottom line is we think the big banks are have all kinds of business practice issues like Wells Fargo. And we don't want to get involved with that because we don't know what those risks are at Bank of America and Citigroup. But we know that they're doing the same practices as Wells Fargo. It's just a matter of time. So by sticking with the regional banks, you take out what I call business risk. All right, so you don't like big banks, but how do you feel about big media companies like, I don't know, Disney? Well, I love Disney, and I think media is in a massive disruption change right now. And in the end, content players are going to come out on top. And Disney has the best content in sports, and they have the best content for kids, and they have the best content in movies. So when you look at that and you say, what's the true value, and you look at the overall multiple of the company versus the market, uh, I think Disney is a very unique opportunity. But, but what about right now. ESPN? Is that a drag? No, not at all. In fact, as we go into the bowl games this weekend, uh, ESPN is an asset like no other. And I think people's fears about ESPN are way overblown. In fact, sports content is more sought after, more desirable by advertisers than ever before. You like MGM and the casino plays there. Why does that necessarily do well under a Trump administration necessarily? Well, first of all, Trump has a lot of incentive to see Vegas do well because he has a large asset there. But we see Trump being very good for things like regulation. So we think that we'll see an end to a ban on sports betting, for example, which would be a boon for the casinos. We also see more dollars in people's pockets because of tax cuts and other economic uh, things he's doing to spur the economy, which will then ultimately go to Las Vegas. And we also see corporate tax cuts really helping a domestic-based company like like MGM, which basically just puts money in their bottom line. So we really see them winning in many ways right now. Three picks for 2017 from Ross Gerber of Gerber Kawasaki. Thanks, Ross. Thank you.